Okay, you can see that this CubeBot Pro is very responsive and we're happy to have it set up now with very stable structure above the basic chassis using these three pins. I showed this on an earlier video how we did this by using spacers to accommodate or compensate for the thinness of this upper board three spacers per pin. This bot car has lots of capability. It's got four sets of servo pins. It's got four sets of pins that have data and voltage and ground. <clears throat> it's got this device, which is two pins and some kind of upper brace. It's got both sonar and I2C, right here, I2C. Got that going on. It's got more pins here that are located and designated. It's got a sensor. You can see the blue LEDs change when it senses infrared underneath. I think that this car is probably designed to eventually, with the Microbit version 2, eventually become a smart car that will accommodate machine learning. We can teach ourselves machine learning. The video that I just showed you, or the the action that I just showed you with this um, MBIT app, I will put the code in the description of this video. The question was, how do we build an upper structure that can support a lot of Lego Technics parts so that we can put four servos on the car? It will accommodate four servos. How can we construct? So what we've got now is a very solid, secure way of doing that. I've got a roller ball on the rear to support the back so we can build out the rear and still be supported, be solid. We're looking for more of this all the time, ways that we can build out. Also with this, I've got access to the on off switch using these two five by seven rectangles. I think this will be very interesting to see how this all plays out using all the capability of this bot car. Electrics Cute Bot Pro. There will be more.